Gordon, we talked about employee engagement in the previous mm -hmm. videos, but I'd also like to touch base because as we've told, as we discussed, employees now working from home, everything is becoming virtual mm -hmm. and the manager or the leaders are not seeing them. They're just doing the Zoom call and then they disappear. So, but you also posted on LinkedIn an article stating 10 things employee expect from their leaders. Can you tell about that? And do you think that those 10 things have changed due to COVID? I think, no. I think those, I think those things have become more important because how we engage, you know, the whole of, um, so let me just step back a little bit. When you look at Gartner, according to Gartner, 30, 33% of people in America are engaged, 67% are disengaged and that's before we moved into a virtual world so now people are disengaged and disconnected mm -hmm. so in order for us to not let the uh, engagement drop below 33 percent or uh, apparently it's 15 percent worldwide but i've worked in a lot of countries and i don't find americans more engaged mm -hmm. than everybody else um so I, those numbers I find questionable, but let's say it's 32, 33%. If people are now disconnected, dis disengaged and disconnected, how are we going to get them uh, back engaged? So we need to be much more engaging mm -hmm. than we need, than we were, which wasn't good enough in an office before. And if we just, if we just operate at that same level of engagement, we're going to lose people. And an interesting aspect of, uh, employee engagement, which doesn't get mentioned, is that uh, Gartner, 33% of employees are engaged, 67 disengaged, yes. but only 30% of managers are engaged. Mm. So where does this disengagement problem come from? I would argue that a disengaged manager cannot create an engaged team. So as leaders, we need to be engaged ourselves. We need to be passionate about what we're doing because if we're not passionate, why shouldn't it be us? And then we need to be engaging. Too many managers, and I hear this all the time, oh, if only I could get any, if only I had an engaged team, I'd be able to achieve miracles. Mm -hmm. Well, go and, go and engage them then. That's your number one job. Engage with your team, uh, reach out, be more, be more friendly, be more, uh, increase the communication, be more supportive, find out what they need, find out what they're doing. And as you do that, that'll help drive uh, engagement. But yeah, it, we need to do not, it hasn't changed in terms of what we should do. It's yeah. just the volume mm -hmm. has yeah. changed significantly. And I totally agree with you. We rarely see in any studies or research the manager's disengagement. We all say employees, just. Okay, do you, do you want to know why that is? Mm. No. Do you want to know why that is? You, or you, you want to know why that is? Or you, yeah. you, I want okay. to know, yeah. Who pays for the studies? The managers. The <laughs> managers. So here's a yeah. study. Could you, could you give me a study that shows it's my fault? Not gonna happen. Yeah. Could you give me a study that shows me it's somebody else's fault? Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, and this is why. So you know, too much blame goes to the uh, the employee, the employees, and it's a. I, I believe it's a management engagement problem, mm -hmm. not an employee engagement. And too often we put the onus. You know, we, we run these employee engagement, and we have the employees figuring out what they need to do, and yeah. and then doing it. Hello, yeah. management is responsible for engagement. Yeah, I agree. So you're fixing the wrong problem. Yeah, I agree. Thank you for that, Gordon. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of employee engagement, please leave it a comment section. Leave, leave a comment in the comment section. Like and share the video and tune in tomorrow for another question with Gordon.